Hi everybody, this is Doug Daniel, and here's what you can expect. You will learn what to call all of the major parts of a typical single engine trainer, and commonly used alternative terms for some of those parts. This is just the first video in an entire series on superior piloting techniques. First thing you need to do is to create a folder on your hard drive and name it Pilots Online Academy. At least that's my recommendation. In that folder, create a subfolder and name it Superior Piloting Techniques Basics. Create a Superior Piloting Techniques Notes text file. Keep your notes there as you go along through the material. This will just make it easier for you to stay organized. Let me tell you why you should learn the definitions now before you get too far down the line. So you don't have to pay a flight instructor a lot of money to teach you the terms. It's going to save you time and money. So you can focus on flying and not wonder what he or she meant. And so you can communicate effectively with other members of the aviation community. We'll use a Cessna 152, a typical trainer, because you are more likely to learn either a Cessna 152 or its four-seat cousin, the Cessna 172. Well, I'm going to start from the front of the airplane and work my way back with definitions. The spinner smooths the airflow, reducing the drag and increasing the speed of the airplane. The propeller blows air back, providing forward thrust. Forgive me for going through terms that you already know, but it was hard to decide which ones to leave out. The nose wheel pivots and is used for steering on the ground. The nose gear is a term that includes the wheel, the fairing, the nose wheel strut, and the whole complete assembly. The main wheels support over 90% of the Cessna's weight. also called the mains. The wheel fairings smooth the airflow past the wheels and reduce drag so the airplane can go faster. These are also known as the wheel pants, but most commonly the wheel fairings. The main landing gear, just like the nose wheel gear, includes the wheels, the fairing, and the full assembly. The wing struts strengthen the wings, and the wing struts connect the wing to the bottom of the fuselage. The cowling, also known as the engine nacelle, smooths the air flow past the engine and funnels cooling air next to the engine. The body of the airplane is also known as the fuselage. Wings provide most of the lift for the airplane, but not all, and hold the fuel tanks. The right wing tip is marked with a green position light, not shown, red on the left. The wing attaches to the fuselage at the wing root. Ailerons are hinged on the trailing edge outboard section of the wing. They move in opposite directions to provide a rolling force for the pilot. Flaps are on the trailing inboard section of the wings. They move from neutral to a typically maximum of 40 degrees down deflection. In a single engine Cessna, they also slide backwards as they go down. Flaps increase a wing's lift and drag. The entire tail section is known as the empennage. 
Here's another view of the empennage. The horizontal stabilizer is fixed to the fuselage forward of the elevator. The elevator is hinged on the trailing edge of the horizontal stabilizer. Together they give the pilot pitch control and stability. The elevator trim tab is hinged on the trailing edge of the elevator. The pilot adjusts it to release to relieve the force felt in the cockpit elevator control. The fixed airfoils on the top of the fuselage are collectively called the vertical stabilizer. The rudder is hinged on the trailing edge of the vertical stabilizer and provides directional control. A white position light is placed on the aftmost part of the rudder in this particular airplane. Sometimes they're in other places in other airplanes. The rudder trim tab on this airplane is a fixed bendable piece of sheet metal used to relieve rudder pressure during cruise flight. So coming up next is Module 2 of Phase 1, the basic aerodynamics needed to understand how and why airplanes fly. But before you go, if you'd like, I have some action items for you. I recommend that you download this presentation. It's available in PDF format. You can keep it as a reference and also I'd like for you to print the next three pages after this one in the presentation. Label each of the airplane parts. I have included a list in the presentation. Check yourself and repeat if you don't get them right. So here's a page to be downloaded. Here's another page and here's the list of airplane parts. So, thank you very much and look forward to our next one.